Okay, it totally cut me off. So let's see if we're back up and running. Hopefully at a good angle like we were before. I had a great angle and everything and then all of a sudden Facebook just knocked me off. What's with that? So let me make sure we're coming through. And while we were knocked off, I cut my paper instead of scoring my paper. So I was gonna do two of this card and I guess I'm just going to do one because I just cut instead of scored. Okay, yay, we're on. Okay, woohoo. Well, I'm not gonna wait for people to gather. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in. Yay, okay, Jackie, we're back on. So I have my half sheet of Shaded Spruce cardstock and I am going to, hey, Kathy and Rosemary, I'm glad you're here. I started and then Facebook bumped me off. So I'm kind of right in the middle of getting ready to, to launch into my fun fold card for today. So this is two and three quarters is where I'm going to score, not cut, which is what I did with the first one. And then I'm also going to score at seven. So I do need to bring my arm out. Um, if you do not have a paper trimmer or yours is old and decrepit, you can't see the, uh, the markings in it anymore, I do highly recommend this paper trimmer from Stampin' Up. I absolutely love it. It is a $30 tool and you will love, love, love it. Uh, so many great features about it. Okay, I don't need that anymore. And what I'm going to do is we're going to bring in Big Boss. So Big Boss is gonna get lots of use today. So let me show you what we're gonna do on this fancy fold, fun fold card. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this little top piece here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of designer paper on it. And as I had said before, I am using this Tis the Season paper, which is on sale right now through the end for 15% off. You do have the option if you want just um, if you want some of all the papers because they are gorgeous. Um, all I say all the papers, all the papers in the sale, which is a lot. There's 15 sets of paper in the sale. What you can do is you can do my paper share. So my paper share gives you a fourth of a package of all the papers that are on sale, and that's a lot. So here we go. I'm gonna put all of the platforms for the Big Boss. This is the way it comes. I'm just putting them all in here like so. And I'm gonna run my card through here and I'm gonna create a little window here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm using my um, layering circles. I will give the measurements again, Susie. This is an 11 by four and a quarter piece, half a sheet of cardstock. And I did score it at two and three quarters and then again at seven. So this is going to create a fun little fold and I'll show you the little peekaboo window that we're gonna make. Now what I've done here, and I do recommend that if you're gonna be working with um, dies like this that have so many different pieces, um, I don't wanna to have to go back in here and figure out which ones I'm using. So I just put these together like so, and that's gonna help me to not have to dig through these and mark them and figure them all out. Now, I will say we are going to cut a little window out of here. And to do this particular fun fold, you do need this to be exactly halfway. If you get it a little bit off, you end up having, because it's gonna create a double here, a window, you're gonna end up with a funky circle that's not a true circle. And you do need the true circle for it to close properly. So what you wanna do is um, make sure that's gonna stay down really well. And it is a double piece of cardstock here because I fold it over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put, you can just use a post-it note. This is post-it note tape. And um, this is something I got from Amazon. I really like it. And I just put a Sharpie marker on here to mark the halfway mark. So that is going to help me to keep everything where it needs to be so that as I put my top cutting plate here, then it's going to go through. Now, typically, you know, you really don't need to run this through twice. With this new die, uh, new die cutting, 
machine. It really does go through amazingly. It just cuts through amazingly. However, this is a double layer of cardstock, so I'm just gonna run it through. I'm gonna go back and forth so that I make sure I get a really solid, um, really uh, deep cut on there because I need that to come out. So that is going to give me my little window. And you can kind of see where I'm going here now. I've, I've done this fold, but it's been a long time since I've done it. So let me just put my Big Boss over here for a minute. Actually, I need to go ahead and use Big Boss while I have it out. Okay, so this I don't need. This is all being discarded. And then I'm going to create another piece just like that. And I'm also going to create um, a little, what's what I'm looking for, a little uh, mat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut the original piece out of red this time so that my little, this is just real red, so that my little um, peekaboo um, circle is gonna end up being red and not, um, not shaded spruce. And then I'm gonna cut one underneath it that's gonna be the shaded spruce to give me that nice little mat. So that is gonna give me that really nice mat. And I'm just gonna keep these on here because I may go back and do some more of these. Um, and I'll show you why I want this green mat here or um, a green layer on the inside here. Bring that back, here we go. So this is the next size down, and this is the scallop, which is going to just give me a nice little bit of um, nice little bit of detail here. And then the piece de resistance, as it were, is I'm going to use Cherish the Season bundle for my card today. So this is where I'm going here. You can see where I've got a nice little bit, a little pop of red there. But before I go any further, I'm going to now cut one more die, or I should say do one more die cut. And I'm gonna do it with the bells, the Cherish the Season. You know, bells are such a pretty um, element of Christmas. They're such a lovely um, design element, a lovely symbol of Christmas. And so um, what I'm using today is a little bit of stamping from Cherish the Season stamp set. And then, oh, that's not the dies. <laughs> oh, they're right underneath me. Um, the dies are here. And what's really cool is that you have dies that will emboss and cut all at once. And that is what I'm gonna do with this one. Now you can stamp and cut out. Um, and let me just show you where I was kind of messing around with these dies a little bit. So I knew I wanted this size and I originally thought I might stamp it and cut it out. And um, then this one, you can see why I want the green behind there because it really makes those holly leaves. Um, but instead of, this is the brass, and I really wanted to do silver bells, kind of iconic Christmas um, details with those silver bells. So I have a couple of little scraps here of silver foil paper. I do use typically a lot of the gold and silver papers during the holidays. We do have some really fun ones this year that are the brushed metallic. And what's really nice about those papers is you get three different colors. So if they're a little bit softer, so the silver, um, I think it's silver, bronze, and gold maybe in the brushed. Um, the, bronze is, I, the bronze is one I really, really like. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, there they are. Well, that's kind of a fun little element that I could use if I want. Let's see, I might just end up using those. So that is what I thought would be really fun for this little window card. I don't really know what you call this fun fold. Like I said, I did it a number of years ago. I haven't done it in a long time, and I thought, you know what? This, these belts would be kind of fun to do with that particular um, 
that particular fun fold. I've just got water here, so naturally I don't have anything to clean it up with. Okay, so now we are ready to start doing a little bit more on the assembly. Let me get this die put away before I forget because that could wreak havoc. Definitely want to make sure that my dies are where they should be. Let's see. I can bring you in just a wee bit more away from me and a little bit more towards my work surface. So I might just use those little guys. So let's go ahead and put our designer series paper here. I've got this piece that I thought would look really good with this. I like this kind of all these different pretty shades of green and then we're gonna do just a little pop of red. Now you see, if I wanted to, I could go here. And that would also be really pretty. Um, I mean, that looks really good. However, I wanted to do a little bit more of a monochromatic. So I am going to go ahead and pop this in right here. And you can see that this will easily fit into a regular envelope and go for a single forever stamp. Now I need to go ahead and put this together and I am just going to do this totally flat. Um, you could do some dimensionals, but I think because of the window, I think it's kind of nice to just do it flat. Um, well, I think I must have lost some folks when um, either that or the comments are not coming through. So when I, when Facebook knocked me off, I think it uh, kind of did some things to me. So this is what I'm gonna do. This red, I did this real red label or, or circle, and it's exactly the same size as my little window. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some adhesive right down here. And then I want to make sure that I lay my circle right in there so that it's going to easily open and close my card and not get in the way. So boom, boom. So kind of fun. Really cute uh, kid's birthday card. And all I'm going to do now before I decorate the outside is somewhere over here, yes, here. I am going to put a little piece of, um, this is mint macaron, which is the lighter counterpart to um, shaded spruce. Now, if you wanted to, let's see, you could add another piece of designer paper over here. So let me just show you what I could do, because I actually have one here. Let's just go ahead and do that. So let's just fancy it up a little bit more by laying that down. And this is hmm, designer paper is four by three and three quarters. And I've done this, I've done this same fold before where I scored it a little bit differently, but the, um, it didn't lay as flat as I wanted it to. I don't want this part to buckle at all. I want that to be really, really flat. So that is kind of the way I came to have that particular um, set of um, measurements. Now, this little guy here, I've got a couple of opportunities. Now, let's see, you know what? I really kind of want that. I don't really want all of these to be cut out, so. If you want to put those back in, you can. And I'm going to put that over here. So before I put that down, let's just get some of the other elements here and then we can make some decisions about, um, we're gonna do a little bit of red rhinestone. And we are also going to do, I apologize, I'm still having to look for this video. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of ribbon right up here at the top of my bell. So what I'm trying to decide is, and I would love to have some, some feedback, some input from you guys. This, you know, this ribbon, I really love this ribbon. It's from that Playful Pets suite. But to me, it's just so incredibly versatile. 
And um, so I think that that is definitely an option. Um, I have a feeling that, um, let's see, okay. I have a feeling that this would be too much um, silver, although I will say that one of the things I did consider was to take my real red um, blend and let's see if I can find a little piece of scrap paper. This is my, um, what do you call it? It is, um, <laughs> I can't think of the name. Uh, it is, um, you know, it's laminated. It's laminated um, grid paper. So um, I don't really want to cause that to, I'll just have the ink will just sit on the top of it. Um, that would be kind of a fun thing to do because it's that bright cherry red. This is real red. This is real red cardstock, but this seems like a little bit, and this is the dark. It does seem like it's not quite on point with the color as I would like it to be. I do like that little hint of silver, I must say. Just that little hint of silver is nice. Um, and then the other one that I thought might look nice is this one that is part of a different suite. And it's the sheer ribbon. And it also is real red. And I thought just a little knot of that might be just the ticket because it's quite delicate. And I think that this card, although we have this fun fold, we have some kind of elegant details going here. Oh, I think that might be... I think that might be a little bit better than the, um, as much as I really do like that, um, the, whatever you call that kind of ribbon. I think we might go with this one. So let me grab, I think I have some scissors over here for cutting this. And let's just see what we can do here to finish this up. So I kept things, the elements on here pretty simple because this is really all about the fun fold. And I wanted that to be, you know, really be the center of the show as it were. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put just a wee bit of adhesive. Oh, you know what would work great there is a mini glue dot. I am going to put a glue dot right there and that is going to hold those little guys in place. See, I have these little, I have over here. my little Picatool would be perfect right now. Ah, there we go. That little guy right there goes into, these are like the holly berries, but I don't want them coming out. I want them to stay in. So I'm going to do that with my mini glue dot to hold them into place but I want the green to be showing through there. So truth be told, I think that a couple of glue dots are really gonna be the ticket for putting this guy down. I could, if I had wanted to, I could have run this through with some of the new adhesive sheets and that would really be cool because then you have um, effectively made this into a sticker and then you can just put it as you wish. I think I'm gonna offset it like so. And then Jackie is agreeing with me on the sheer ribbon, so I appreciate a little bit of input here. And then this is going to go like so. I'm liking it. And then I am going to just put a little flag down here with Merry Christmas. So this is the very pretty font with Merry Christmas on it. And I'm going to use Shaded Spruce. Kind of keep it all. Hey, Crystal, I'm glad you found us, that you joined us today. Awfully nice to see you. Um, if you weren't here for the beginning, you, you uh, missed the mishap. Uh, actually, it wasn't a mishap on my part. Facebook just decided to bump me off for no reason at all. And so I had about four minutes and then Facebook just dumped me. <laughs> they just cut me off. So I had to start over. But um, this is a fun fold that we're doing today. And I am going to flag this. You know, I thought about doing this with a, um, 
you know, you could use one of the really pretty uh, label dies, but I do think sometimes you can get too much of a good thing with dies. And I really wanted this to be the focal piece, the focal element. Hey, Diane, I'm glad you've joined us. So, you know, if you watch my videos at all, you know, this is my favorite way to flag something is just to use my tailored tag punch, which I hope never, ever retires. Um, now, having said that everything else here is flat, I probably will pop that up on a couple of dimensionals. I think that would be a good little... Um, little something to have raised. And all I have handy at the moment are my minis. You could easily use just regular dimensionals here, but this is what is close at hand. So let's just get several sets of these. Um, one of the things I do like to do with these minis is to use them in pairs sometimes. So let's just pop this on here, and then I'm going to put just a few little, um, a few little red rhinestones on here to tie in that red, little pops of red that we have, and then we're going to put a greeting on the inside, and then we are done and dusted. And I think that this little window is super fun. So that is the way it opens. And then it opens all the way down here. Now, again, if you wanted to, you know, you could do more designer paper. You can put another piece of red back here. You can do all kinds of flash things. But to be honest, I think it's pretty flash just the way it is. And um, it's just a fun way to open a card. Like I said, because this is a fun fold, this is really cute for a child's birthday card. You know, I think that anytime you do a fun fold for a child, it's just that element of surprise and delight. Now, this has really pretty words in this stamp set. I think I'm a little crooked. Okay, let's see. Oh, not too bad. May you cherish the wonder of the season now and throughout the year. So that is pretty much monochromatic. I've got shaded spruce, mint macaron, shaded spruce, a little pop of red, and then mint macaron again here. Now, the uh, last little element that we're going to do is we are going to put on here a few of the real red um, rhinestones. These are awfully nice for the holidays. I mean, you can use pops of red are appropriate all year round, but they are especially nice during the holidays when sometimes you need just a wee bit of red. So let's see how we can do this here. If we go one, two, three, I think is probably all we're going to need and kind of keep the red right up here instead of bringing it down to the tree. So there you have it. A fun fold Christmas card that is sure to surprise and delight anyone who receives it. Now I will say, let's see, no, there we go. It just, yeah. I think the ribbon kind of uh, catches just a wee bit. So, you know, that is something to think about. Um, let's see. Because once I do this, then I do have to, oh, no, it goes, it's, it, it comes really easily. So that, I think, is sure to wow your friends and family and um, anybody that you want to do a uh, kind of specialty Christmas card. But it only takes a half a sheet of paper and um, a couple of little pieces of designer paper. Like I said, I will put the um, dimensions um, I'll write them up for you, and I hope you will consider um, this Cherish the Season. It's such a pretty set of dies, and I think that um, some of our stamp sets, you know, the dies, you really kind of need them to cut out the, um, the different elements. I honestly think that you could, if you weren't totally keen on this, Honestly, you know, I didn't stamp these. I Just the dies are awfully nice. So if you came in later, let me just show you briefly. When I was kind of playing around, I did think about doing this with a brass um, bell, but then I wanted to go silver. And I do think because these are cool greens, it's a nicer. And then this is the way it would look if I had stamped it and cut it out. Um, 
I think that it just really, really pops with the um, with the silver foil. So Terry Lynn, I'm glad you like the red ribbon for my jingle bell. And um, like I said, simple, quick, um, and it's really all about just making this little window here for that fun little pop. So that is it for today. So in spite of Facebook ay, 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 bumping me off and um, causing my whole video to stop earlier on. To be honest, it was just the preliminaries. I was chit-chatting and talking to you a little bit and telling you about uh, the Designer Series paper sale, which if you're on my email list, and hopefully you are, you already got that notification today about the email sale, although I have a paper share running and I totally forgot to put the price on it. So people clicking on it and like, oh, there's no place to even put a price. So, um, yeah, major blonde moment. So, um, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you like my fun fold. I will put uh, the measurements down so that you can recreate those. And uh, no, uh, Mary, I'm I'm glad you joined us. That that those stamps, tr those trees are not stamped. That's designer series paper. The paper pack is called Tis the Season, and it is part of the 15% off sale right now. So all the papers that I use today are part of Tis the Season. So I will get you a quick inspiration sheet. What I can do is I can give you the dimensions and the supplies. I can put those for you together for you really quickly and then um, do a photograph of the, um, of the card and everything later. So I've got uh, things I'm behind on and trying to uh, get in the mail. So thank you so much again for tuning in. And um, don't forget to share my video. It helps me a ton. Don't forget about the paper sale, 15% off, only through the end of the month. And if you want to be part of my paper share, where you get a fourth of a pack of all 15 sets of design paper that are on sale, it's only $49. And um, it's almost 200 pieces. So that's a lot to have fun and create with. And the beautiful thing is it's almost all of the holiday papers plus I think about six or seven sets from the annual catalog. So you really are set on the designer papers um, to do a lot of creating with. So thanks again uh, for your positive input. Thank you for your patience today after I got bumped off once already. And I will see you here Thursday for Simple and Stepped Up Stamping. Take care. Thank